August 2022, they went spinning, a slang term for going out looking for ops and shooting them for no reason. Suspects are accused of at least two murders, multiple shootings. Bullets flew right over a couple pushing a baby stroller in Flatbush. And you, in another angle, you see people scatter, duck for their lives. The complete disregard for human life. Part of a major gang takedown. 18 gang members were charged for their involvement in 12 separate shootings that injured 10 people, eight of them innocent, and killed two teenagers while shot in the stomach in a Brownsville playground. Old to 21 years old. The NYPD showed the stash of guns they picked up off the streets and the territory maps where the various gangs operate. You can hear shots ring out in this surveillance video from August 18th, 2022. Police say gang members fired at a random car filled with innocent people they mistook for rival members near East 32nd Street. Everyone in the car survived. These kids have nothing to do. Everybody killers, which means they were willing to kill anybody uh, and everybody who disrespected. Alleged gang members arrested and tied to 31 separate incidents on Long Island. These suspects are part of a new neighborhood gang. Oh, get the you're looking at an armed carjacking of an innocent rideshare driver in Waiting River. The gunmen gleefully grinning as they steal the car, part of a ruthless gang, say officials, responsible for 31 violent acts from Suffolk to Nassau since last year, including a murder outside a Farmingville nightclub. nightclub. The murder and the six shootings, we have uh, five carjackings, one armed robbery, 15 separate uh, stolen vehicle, home burglary, where uh, six French bulldog uh, puppies and their mothers were stolen. Team approach from multiple agencies for crippling a relative new gang based in the Mastic Shirley area called NFL, short for No Fake Love. Also arrested incarcerated gang leaders who were allegedly directing the violence from behind bars, elevating it to innocent citizens. So these individuals should never see the light of day. Eight guns were seized. Officials call it a new regional gang. Its members are also part of the larger Bloods and Crypts. Held in on bail and that, they, that they're held responsible for their acts of violence and what they're doing to, to our communities. One of the defendants applied for a legal gun license to allegedly supply gang members for violent crimes across Long Island in Riverhead, Long Island. Asians, gang retaliation, killings, and innocent lives caught in the crossfire. Law enforcement's waging a war on a new street gang on Long Island. For a violent three-year span targeted neighborhoods in Central Islip, Brentwood, Amityville, and Bayshore were terrorized as the Suffolk DA by members of a Long Island chapter of the Bloods street gang. A team of county, state, and federal law enforcement arrested 31 defendants for 18 recent shootings, including one that killed respected Bronx school teacher Kimberly. Kimberly was senselessly shot and killed during a drive-by shooting as she sat in her car. Ten-year-old daughter who was in the back was not struck. These illegal confiscated weapons were allegedly passed around by members of the bloodhound Brims. The gang's leader, known as La Brim, is incarcerated in California, but gave orders through proxies to pay dues to his prison commissary account. If you sell drugs or commit robberies to support that activity, you will be held responsible. The Bloods, Crips, Latin Kings, and MS-13 gangs are still active on Long Island, but less so since the tragic murders of the two young teen girls from Brentwood, whose parents went to Capitol Hill in 2018 to raise awareness. Undercovers based on Long Island are arresting alleged gangsters armed with machetes, baseball bats, clubs, and axes as tools for drug trafficking and extortion, home invasions, and robberies. We are committed to assist our state and local partners with apprehending the most violent individuals who commit the most violent crimes. Disrupting gang life to make ruling by fear a means of the past.